The Academy Award nominated director of Dazed and Confused and Boywood has set another film in uh, the 1980s. And 1980 is when this film takes place. It's about a bunch of college baseball players on the last weekend before school begins. It's called Everybody Wants Some. And one of the stars of that film, Tyler Hecklin, is right here on The Rich Eisen Show. Good to see you, sir. Good to see you. So now you have played college ball, right? I did, I did. I played at uh, Arizona State and UC Irvine. I mean, Arizona State has some serious history. Yes. Bonds, Reggie. Right. Absolutely, yeah. Bonds was uh, Bonds was a favorite player of mine growing up for sure. So right. that was kind of like going to his alma mater was definitely kind of one of those. Oh, this is uh, this is special. This is pretty cool. Right. So what your baseball career was cut short by injury? Is that what happened? Uh, yeah, I pulled a hamstring going into my junior year, and uh, the previous year I turned down a role in a film that had gone on to be fairly successful. And uh, so I think those two things kind of coupled together. I had a, a meeting with my coach uh, Mike Gillespie, mm -hmm. uh, who's still at UC Irvine, and uh, we just kind of had a discussion and decided this was finally the time to let acting win over baseball. I'd kind of made the other decision about five or six times in my life up to that point. So. It was just kind of time to make that choice. Yeah, I shouldn't say UC. I mean, UC Irvine's no slouch of an organization. They did either. all right. I mean, they they actually some, they eliminated us in Omaha with the year I was at ASU. They so, have a yeah, serious they baseball the program as well. But you were in acting before you went to uh, play baseball, correct? You were, yes. You were the you were the the boy, the kid. Yeah. Michael Sullivan Jr. Right in that was Road him. to Perdition. Back in the day. So, Tom Hanks, Paul Newman. And you. Yeah. <laughs> How old were you in that film? Uh, I was 13. 13 when we shot that. What in the world was it like being a 13-year-old actor? And that's that's Tom Hanks. That's Paul Newman. For yeah. Loud. It was, was uh, I would say, kind of one of those, like, ignorance is bliss kind of moments. Like, still being a little bit naive. I, I knew who Hanks was. I, I was a huge, like, big and splash fan as a kid. Sure. So I definitely knew who Tom was. And I knew the legend of Paul Newman, but I wasn't familiar with, like, a lot of his films at the time. So... You know, we had a table read, and I saw Paul standing over there, and I ran over, like, hey, I'm playing your grandson, and my mom's freaking out in the corner. She's a little bit more aware this, <laughs> of, right. of who he is. Um, but, yeah, it was just, I mean, uh, I think the best thing about it was, you know, being a young kid on a, on a set like that and seeing those guys work, the, the work ethic that they had, the professionalism that they showed, like, on a daily basis, uh, it really made it hard to grow up in this industry without the right point of view on, like, how things are supposed to be done. Uh, so I'm definitely really grateful for that. And I had teammates and a family that kept me very humble as well sure <laughs> plus kinda, it sounds like you sound like a rookie baseball player like you're 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 sort of too young to not know what you don't know right exactly <laughs> exactly respect. which sometimes helps for sure right tom hanks is a big bay area sports fan i know yeah. i mean he's a big a's yeah you're a giant right is that i was are? a giants fan growing up yeah not yeah my uh i i am now i have buddies that play now so i've kind of like lost who allegiance are your guys who are your guys that are out there um Major ike League. davis was my roommate in college uh brett wallace and i played together at asu mike leak was on that team andrew romine eric sogard who's with oakland yeah uh and I mean, joe Leakes. kelly joe is, kelly joe okay. kelly is i grew up playing with joe since we were probably seven years old so i've known joe for way too long back when he was a center fielder uh, and always underestimated because he was a tiny guy on the team. So uh, he's he's definitely grown out of that, and he's doing he's doing all right. I mean, Leak Leak just had a very nice uh, off season. There, pretty the, much. The, he's I mean, been he's had a good career so far. He, he has. He's he's been doing well for himself. Yeah, yeah. hanging out there in the uh, National League Central, essentially. Yeah. Which is funny because he hated he hated pitching. I don't know if he cares. That what do you mean? That, but he hated he was he was such a position guy. He loved to hit. Yeah. He loved to play defense. So I think you know uh, Murph always wanted him to be a pitcher and. Uh, I think he resented it for a minute, but I, I think now he's probably okay with it. Well, I mean, the Giants have a pretty big game tonight. We had Howard Reynolds here in hour number two. He's calling the, the Giants and Dodgers yeah. and Jackie Robinson night in Dodger Stadium. It's always, always Bum a great Bumgarner versus Kershaw. So, yeah. So you doing your baseball, using your baseball acumen, we just showed a clip right there. Yeah. That, that left-handed swing looked pretty sweet. Tyler, I gotta be it honest was, with you. Uh, yeah, I mean, I wish, I wish it would have been that nice when I was playing. <laughs> I think it looked right. better there than it did when I was playing ball. Right. Uh, but yeah, my dad was a smart guy. I throw right, so I always played middle infield, and then uh, I uh, batted left. He wanted me to be on that side, of, just a little, little closer to first base. My five-year-old so. seems to be doing that right now. Yeah, He's, yeah, yeah he it seems works. seems to be doing that right now. It works nicely. It definitely works. Well, the left-handed pitcher, I'm hoping when he picks up a ball with his left hand, my, my wife and I were, were, were doing cartwheels because yeah. <laughs> that means that if, you know, knock on wood, I live to 95, he will still be pitching in Major League Baseball. There you go. There you go. Yeah, exactly. Now you got a lefty with a good hook, some junk. You're you're fine. That pretty much works. So oh, what yeah. is this film about? Uh, for those who want to go check it out, this film is. Uh, you've done a great job of explaining so far. Oh, it great. is. It's the four days before the first day of college in 1980. You follow a baseball team, and it's a kind of a classic Linklater film. It's a slice of life. It's really just a window into this crazy world that these guys live in, mm -hmm. uh, and it's a very character-driven movie. So it's 
it's fun in the fact that it's not like this massive plot and through line of like, oh, look what happened. Um, you really just kind of leave going like, oh, wow, I, I know 13 new characters, uh, which is kind of fun. There's not a lot of movies that let you just kind of hang out and get to know these guys anymore. And you can kind of leave and talk to your friends like, oh, you're this guy, you're that guy. And right. uh, kind of have that familiarity. So it's just, uh, it's a lot of fun. And there's, you know, moments of profoundness that are kind of like slipped yeah. in there and it's uh, it's fun. So it's a great movie to just kind of connect with people, which is always good. And you were wearing like a cutoff shirt <laughs> in the in the uh, yeah. in the in the clip. It just it looks like the era. It just nailed it right there. It kind of looks yeah. like breaking away that you're all looking just like those guys. That's really funny. Film. We did a, uh, so we had three weeks of rehearsal before we shot the movie and we stayed on uh, Rick's property. And uh, every day we slept in bunkhouse. So we all slept in the same room. It was like literally going to camp for adults. Uh -huh. And uh, we would wake up and have breakfast, dance rehearsal, baseball practice, read through the script. And then we would do a movie screening and Breaking Away was one of the movies that we watched. Is that right? Yeah. And no we had a little discussion afterwards. So Breaking Away, No No, the Doc Ellis uh, documentary, uh, Any by Inning, which was Rick's documentary on Augie Garrido, uh, Animal House. Uh, yeah, it was just, it was a blast. It was like a film class with Richard Linklater. You know, it's funny with the Doc Ellis documentary, you know, is that, that, that some, when people sometimes uh, talk about him and they look at him in a, uh, uh, just on a roster, yeah. you know, with last name first, and that sometimes the first initial is just used. Yeah. When you see that, his name is LSD. <laughs> I mean, have that's you never just heard kinda, that one no, before? No, I haven't. I haven't. That's just kind of D fate aligning. Is though. if you go last name first initial, like you sometimes do on a baseball that's roster. That's funny. Yeah, I'd never, I'd See, never I'm heard that one. See, I'm leaving you with something you didn't I know, know. I can and take you're this a now. baseball guy I'm through and through. Taking this with me now. You can use it. Use <laughs> I will. It. I definitely will be. So yeah, that's awesome. You saw Break Breaking Away is an, is is a film that not a lot of sports fans yeah uh, put up there with Bull Durham. Right. Hoosiers, when you mentioned some of the best, best sports oh, movies yeah. of all time, remember the Titans, yep. Brian Song. I mean, uh, Breaking Away is up there. There's it no is, it's great. There. I mean, and I was definitely one of the people that was kind of, you know, uh, unaware of it, really. And then we, we watched it and it was like, oh my God, Dennis Quaid. There's this Dennis is, Quaid this on a bicycle. What this are the is awesome. And, and yeah, I mean, I mean, just the, you know, the determination of it uh, and just, you know, the, a lot of the things. And that's kind of what I like about, with, not to bring it back to our movie, but sure, what I like please. about our movie is that, you know, it is a baseball film because there is baseball and you're with a bunch of baseball guys. But to me, sports films in general, uh, it's not really about the dramatics of like if they win or if they lose. Because sure. if I want to watch a drama of a game, I'll watch a game. Like that's just much more exciting. It's not scripted. Um, whereas like with this, it's really kind of what sports does and like the world that it kind of just creates around people. So, you know, with ours kind of it being the, the weird dynamics of like your teammates, but you also kind of root against each other sometimes because you're like you want them to do well enough that you win but you don't want to lose a job so it's like those kind of dynamics that are interesting and just to see you know the determination of quaid in that movie and things like that that's the kind of the kind of stuff that's just fun to watch everybody wants some in theaters right now with tyler heckland tyler l underscore heckland on twitter be one of his billion followers go join <laughs> him thank you for coming on tyler thank you very much please for come me, back the rich eisen show weekdays at noon eastern on audience